there, I'm Thomas Caster, and I'm really happy to be joining you for an, uh, the Atlantic Arc mini workshop series. I'm going to teach you um, a few Manx tunes today. And if you've never heard of Manx music before, it's the music of the place that I'm from called the Isle of Man. Um, it's sort of, it reflects its geographical position pretty well. Um, Manx music is sort of in between Irish music and Scottish music um, and that's kind of where the Isle of Man sits in between those two places and um, it means a lot for me uh, to be able to teach people Manx music um, not many people know Manx tunes or have heard any or anything like that so um, so yeah absolutely it's uh, I think it's important to spread the word of Manx music and things and um, and it's great to be part of the the Celtic Atlantic arc um, from I guess from Scotland to Ireland to the Isle of Man to Brittany, Wales, Cornwall and across and the rest that I've missed out or whatever um but yeah great to be part of part of that and uh, sort of con contribute to that in in a, in a small way um but uh, I've been asked to to teach you one or two tunes but I thought we would go for three three simple Manx tunes that I like to play together um in a set they're dead old, um, really, really old tunes. Uh, the first one is called Hop Janair, which is the Manx, Hop Janair is sort of the Manx version of, of Halloween. Um, and uh, it's a tune associated with that. And uh, it goes on to Craig Willie Sill, which has got um, a couple of great dances to it. And then that goes into one um, called Heimish Jack, um, which means I did in and or I went in and um yeah so I'll, I'll give you these I'll play I'll play them first and then um I'll just sort of fire straight into them a couple of phrases at a time um sorry if I get anything wrong but here we go
Okay, there we go, or something like that anyway. Um, so like I said, I'll just, I'll fire straight into them. Um, I, I don't know if I've I've taught these before, so uh, so um, bear with me, um, but I'll try and break them down uh, bit by bit. And they're sort of my versions of of, uh, of these tunes. And I might um, sort of talk about a couple of the bits of ornamentation that I that I use when I play them as well. Uh, so the first one, um, Hop Jeanette, straight in at the top, it goes, hope you can see my fingers and stuff up. So that's the first bit. The second bit. So you got. So that's. Then the next bit. I'll do that again, so... And then again, uh, so forget the anacrusis this time, but... And that is um, pretty much the whole A part. That's the beauty of these of this Manx one. It's dead, dead simple. These three. So all together. So um, so that's the first part. Dead easy. And then um, the second part. So let's play it again. And then the next bit. Second part. Something like that. So um, those two parts together, it's... That's pretty much the whole first tune, um, which is which is cool. Um, we'll just blast on straight to the second one, and it goes um, starts on the A, but they're kind of two first phrases. So the first one, oh, 
one again. And then the next one. So. first two and then so the third one and then the fourth one maybe that's better but go with that one so those first first ones the whole A part. So again. And again. That's the whole A part, nice one. And then uh, second part. Just doing a roll there. So that um, B part is sort of like That's not my throw in. But you can kind of do whatever ornamentation you want. I mean, if you play the fiddle, that's a great one. Do a roll, fire a wee slide into it at the top. So that um, that uh, whole whole middle tune goes. cool so you've got that um and uh yeah and with a lot of manx tunes like there's um there's a lot of interpretation there you know you're quite free to sort of fire in the 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 ornaments that you like and and um variations that you like to play as well and um, which i'm terrible for i'm firing in all sorts of nonsense all the time so but feel free to do that as well um you know i'm just trying to give you sort of like the rough uh, feel of the of the tunes sort of thing um, and we'll blast into that's us at 15 minutes now but we'll blast into the last tune um which is called um Jaime Jack um, and this is a good fun one to play on the fiddle as well so it goes starts like this on the C sharp so it's, so that's the 
that's the first. I'll, let me, I'll remind myself first. Dead simple, dead easy tune. Starts on the C sharp. Dead easy, so. And um, those ornaments I do at the end there, the another roll on the first finger. And I've got this one, the flicky thing that I do um, on the A. So and that for any fiddle players watching is sort of you throw your third finger down and you want to hit the string sort of about here um, and you just want to put it down one time and um, you don't so you're not putting it down multiple times but the tip of your finger is sort of bouncing on the string so you want to really throw it down on your fingerboard and you want to you want to keep it really rigid and taut and tight and let that sort of that finger bounce I don't know if you can see that so that that in that tune it's dead useful for and any tune for fiddlers, if it's an open string, there's not very much you can do um, ornament-wise. Um, so that's really handy. Like do you know what I mean? You can get sort of good. As if you're a piper, you know, it's a bit like your, your um, whatever that is, and the the crayon on Ilan pipes and stuff like that, and the flute. So it's a bit similar like that for but for the fiddle and um, so that's useful for this tune and uh like you can hear these are dead simple tunes and um you know <clears throat> you gotta you gotta add your own spice into it do you know what i mean and sort of um sort of uh and it's the the sort of details and ornaments that really sort of bring them alive but they've got a great feel so i'll carry on with this one uh, dead easy like i said so <laughs> And if you can't get that flicky thing yet, so that. Like that.
and that's sort of the tune. I'll play that um, to you uh, a couple more times slowly um, so you can get that. And um, a really good, this is kind of like, these tunes are sort of like slides um, from, they're sort of like, um, kind of a jig, if you don't know what a slide is, sort of like a jig, but it's in 12-8. And he's sort of got this like rocking feel like bum ch bum ch ba bum ch ba bum ch that kind of thing going on. And a really good way to get the feel for these tunes, um, something that I do is I tap my feet, you know, alternately. So start with my right and go ch -ch 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 -ch, like that kind of thing. And that kind of gets a really good feel for it. So you're like. Do you know what I mean? So anyway, that last tune, just to cap it off, so. So there we go with this that's sort of three sort of the rough outline of three manx tunes um there are that you know as far as i know not many people know um outside of the isle of man so i hope uh you enjoyed hearing those uh manx tunes and um i hope you get something from that and and can play them and stuff like that i'd love to hear people playing manx stuff um wherever i go that's that gives me a right thrill so um, thanks very much.